My neighbors are still moving. Like, I think it's just rude. Could I have picked a better time to film? Yes. Is this lipstick trash? Look, I'm not a fan. Oh, it's growing on me. Hello everybody, my name is B Carter. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. and Welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to be telling a uh, true crime slash missing story today um, while doing this to my face because I'm putting this on my eyeballs, which is very pink. And I kind of, kind of, um, I'm kind of, um, I'm, look, I'm enjoying it. Um, so please do feel free to subscribe and like this video, leave a comment, do whatever, please. <laughs> that would be lovely, lovely, it would be lovely. I think my neighbors are moving today. Hello. Hope everybody's quarantining. I've been at home, we're working from home for a couple of weeks now. Kids pulled out of school and daycare and stuff and whew, how am I ready to get out? So I know that I said in one of my previous videos that I didn't really want to do the whole <sighs> My dog's crying at the door because my husband and my kids are playing out the front and he wants to go too, but he's not allowed to go because he will bolt. He cannot be trusted. So now that that's over, um, I know I said I wasn't going to do the whole makeup and true crime thing out of, you know, respect to copying, but you know what? I just, I like it. I like it. So we're going to try and stick to getting ready, doing my face. And stuff it is currently morning which is rare for me to be filming this early in the day but it's not like I have anything to do today anywhere to be and I'm kind of living it up while my husband's home so today because it's the morning we've got coffee instead of adult apple juice because that would be the sensible thing to do even though we're in quarantine and we can't drive anywhere or work we're being responsible adults. Okay, so today we are talking about Howard Holt. I wanted to go Aussie again just because, I don't know. I don't actually know why. I still think it's an interesting story because I mean, there's not really much to tell in the way of like stories because um, it's such a mystery, but I kind of just want to like discuss like the conspiracies around it and all that sort of stuff. So, if you don't know, Howard, why do I keep saying Howard? Howard? I always say Howard, but it's Harold. I'm just gonna double check that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at this because Australian elections, I'm pretty sure he was not actually like elected. I think it was like a um, Julia Gillard kind of thing where like his predecessor just retired while they were already in office and he took Okay, so I was wrong. He was elected. That's annoying. I read somewhere that he was just like, was next in line, you know? And that nobody actually wanted him, they just really didn't want the other guy. But I don't know. So, Harold Holt, there is actually like a memorial at the beach where he disappeared. So basically, one day, he like, walks into the ocean for a swim, and he never walks out. Um, nobody ever found out what happened to him, and... Like his body was never recovered or anything like that. So, so Harold Holt was Australia's Prime Minister from 1966 to 1967. Um, he was born in August of 1908 um, and he was Australia's 17th Prime Minister and he was elected in the 1996 election that was held in November as the leader of the Liberal Party. Um, so he left behind his wife and three sons when he died. Um, his wife's name was Zara, which I think is the cutest name. The cutest name. So on December 17th in 1967, he was like on vacation kind of, like having a chill out um, at a beach. He was a really strong swimmer. He dove a lot, like he was like a free diver and free diver or oh, he did some kind of diving he really liked the ocean he's into water sports and like snorkeling and swimming and spent a lot of time at the beach um and really liked it so that's where a lot of the conspiracy theories stem from i feel because like 
Everyone was like, but like he wouldn't have drowned because... So on September 17th, 1967, just over a year after he was elected, he walked into the water for a swim um, at the sea near Portsea in Victoria while he was on holiday and he never walked out. Um, his body was never recovered either, um, which is where the conspiracy theories come in. So there was a bunch of stuff about him not having security. So he didn't have security for a long time. Um, he denied security um, because he felt like it was unnecessary and possibly alienating to the public. Um, and he, but like after he died, his wife was like, nah, it's probably to hide his affairs because he didn't want his, secu his security detail knowing about them. She was like salty. Like a few things that she said, like she was salty. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's move on. Um, so she thinks it's because he wanted to hide his affairs, but he says that it was alienating to the public um, and unnecessary. Um, he did end up accepting one security guard um, after the leader of the opposition, Arthur Colwell, had an attempt made on his life. Um, and he was like, okay, yeah, cool. But he only accepted one security guard. Um, and then basically he was like, nah, only for work. So like when he was on holiday and stuff, he didn't have a security guard. And I was like, you moron. That's when they're, that's when they're gonna strike you, weirdo. <sighs> Arthur Colwell, the attempt made on his life was actually um, like a sniper. Um, a sniper went through his window. Um, so like someone was trying to kill him, someone was out to kill him. And so Holt was like, yeah, okay, look, fine. You know, I agree, all good, we'll do it. So yeah. So yeah, so Harold, because he was such a strong, strong like swimmer and diver and stuff, there was so many people who were like, nah, he just couldn't have, he couldn't have, you know, he, he just, he couldn't have drowned like that um so there was a couple of these there was this one i think expert on the sea i can't remember exactly what he was or what he did but he was basically like if the body got tangled up in like kelp which i'm assuming is seaweed or something and it kind of would have like been kept under the ocean it only would have taken like 24 to 48 hours for like other sea creatures to have like taken him down to just a skeleton so it's not necessarily, apparently, it's not necessarily unusual that they wouldn't have found a body. They did start an informal, uh, an informal, a formal investigation. Um, the day after he disappeared, that started, um, which is great. Go government. Um, the police report was re then released on the 5th of January, and it honestly didn't really have any definitive information in it because there was none. There was a severe lack of evidence because he literally walked into the ocean Walk back out. My dog is still crying. Can you hear that? So the federal government, after this police report um, came out, and the federal government did not do their own inquest. They didn't do their own um, like investigation or anything because they didn't think that it was worth it. They said that there was no um, there was no controversial information, there was nothing controversial about the case, so there was no need for another investigation to be done, which they were criticised for a little bit in later years, I think. Um, but anyway, so just of the story is, Prime Minister walked into the sea, went for a swim, never walked out. And there's a couple of theories, like one of the theories here is obviously, I mean, there's, there's never not going to be a suicide theory. There's a few people who said that he committed suicide um, because, you know, he wasn't doing great in the polls, I don't think, from what I read. Um, and he just didn't really see a way out, so he <laughs> necked himself. Um, but that doesn't really explain why they never found his body. I mean, that guy could explain why he never, we never found his body, but I don't know. Um, his wife, on the other hand, she was like, no, no, no. He is, like, far too, far too, um selfish <laughs> this is, she's shady as hell she he's far too selfish to commit suicide she was like salty on her man 
there were the conspiracy theories now the conspiracy theories get a bit wild so like sorry in 1968 there was a story in the sunday observer which i'm pretty sure it's like a newspaper like who doesn't read newspapers anymore so i just went through most of my eye look without having pressed record so i don't know where i was at so we're going to start with the conspiracies so like in 1968 um, the Sunday Observer, which I'm pretty sure is a, um, a newspaper. Um, so the Sunday Observer put out a thing to say that he was, um, assassinated by the CIA. Which, like, I didn't think we had that here. Maybe America sent him. But I really thought that America just thought we were the ugly cousins that were just obligatory invitees, um, to the family wedding. You know? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think that they care much about us, so I'm confused. But apparently he wanted to withdraw Australia from Vietnam. And America didn't want that to happen. So good old Halty was forced out of office in violent ways. That's the theory. So there is another theory um, that he committed suicide. Um, there are a few people, like, there wasn't really much evidence to back this up, in all honesty, that I could find. Um, I'm sure that there's lots of conspiracy theories out there, but he was, like, planning a bunch of stuff. Like, he was just not acting like someone who was planning to commit suicide. And his wife said that he was far too selfish for suicide. She's just, she's a shady fucker. I love it, but she's shady. <laughs> well, no, not shady, salty. She's salty. She's salty. Whatever her husband did to her while they were married, like, my dog won't stop crying. He's crying because he wants to go out the front to play. But we've discussed this. He lost his out the front privileges when he tried to chase down a dude on a bike. I don't think that I was being unreasonable when I said that I didn't want him chasing down guys on bikes. I read another one actually, like after this, so the suicide one, but then there was also this one that said that he was like always a spy from China. And that um, he like jumped into the water and swam out to a Chinese submarine. It's been refuted a couple of times just because like there's no way that a Chinese submarine would have been able to get close enough. Um, but then there was another one that said that they had left something in the water and then he th they like dragged him out to sea. Which is just, I mean that's a bit out there. I went to a wedding, right? And I wore f fake eyelashes all night and I was so goddamn proud of myself. You don't even know. Look at that. First try. I'm gonna walk out of here and my husband's gonna be like. So the next one is like the Chinese submarine thing. That's just, that's a bit, like that's a bit nuts even for me, I think. Um, I mean, sure it's possible, I guess. I mean, if they left something in the water and then kind of dragged him out to sea, but I mean, he was 55. How old was he? Well, he was born in 1908 and this happened in 19. 68, 67. So yeah, he would be like 59 years old. Like, dude, he's not holding his breath for that long. Nor does he have the fucking physical stamina of a... You know, like, I mean, he was a good... Like, he was active and stuff, but Jesus Christ. you know, That's like... That's like Olympic athlete level shit, that is. So, oh, and there was one more, actually, that said that he faked his death to go and be with his lover. Like, oh. I would actually really like that one if it were true. Like, if that one, if that turned out to be it, if we, like, find out, you know, now, oh, no. If we find out now, like, years later that he actually did, like, run away to be with his lover, like, I'd be cool with that, you know? Like, I'd be like, you know what? Good for him. My neighbours are still moving. Like, I think it's just rude. Could I have picked a better time to film? Yes. Is this lipstick trash? Look, I'm not a fan. Oh, it's growing on me. So, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that, like, Harold Holt is still out there somewhere? Do y'all think that he's, like, run off with his lover? Or do you think that he actually died? I mean, logically speaking, he think I think he died. Um, and, like, he was just eaten. I do think it's weird that they found nothing of him, though. Having said that, this was 1967, so it's not like they had the resources that we have available to us now. So, like, yeah, it's, it's not like that they have, you know, everything that we have now these days. So, 
Like, I kind of get it. I mean, not even his shorts, though. Like, he... I don't know. I think that he has to be somewhere. And whether that is in a shark's belly... Well, that shark's probably dead now anyway. Um, or on the other side of the world with his lover. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he's around still? It's like one of those crazy, crazy mysteries because literally nobody knows what happened because there is absolutely no evidence. They think that this is some massive fucking... There was this one conspiracy theory because um, they were like... A bit of information was left out of the initial police report, which was that there was a couple of cans of beer in his bag. Like, these days, if like someone walked into the ocean for a swim and there's a couple of beers in his bag... I think it still would have been ruled a drowning because, like, they just would have gone, oh, well, he was drunk when he went for a swim. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if he's around still. Let me know if you think he's around still. Let me know if he's around still. Harold Holt, if you're watching this, feel free to get in touch. Not really. You're long dead. Even if you did survive that and you ran off to be with your lover, I'm pretty sure that you are dead now. Um, because otherwise you would be 120. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. If you do want to like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you want to do, please do it because I'd love you if you did. We're all bored, we're all stuck in our houses and I hope that this, I don't know, got your mind off it for a little while. It's shit being stuck in the house, isn't it? I'm getting the jitters. I'm getting the jitters. And my kids, oh my kids. Um, so, feel free to subscribe, please, like, all that sort of stuff. Follow me on places and do everything you're supposed to do. My family's coming inside now because you can hear them because...